Welcome to a new vlog. I have a couple of projects in the pipeline right now that require PCBs. I will be ordering them from JLC PCB. As you know, they have been sponsoring my videos for a while now. And even if they didn't, I would still be ordering the PCBs from their service because it's uh, affordable and uh, good quality. But the problem right now, as you may know, is the coronavirus infection that's happening in China. And due to that, companies have switched to a work from home scenario with only minimal personnel present on site. This coupled with the uh, extended uh, holiday issued after the spring festival holiday uh, turns into uh, long lead times as customers line up to get their PCBs manufactured. So this video is more an update on the current uh, situation and their current manufacturing uh, capability because I am in contact with JLC PCB and I have some uh, information about the expected delays for PCB orders. Right now they are offering their uh, two-layer PCB service, uh, their SMT assembly service as well as the stencil production service uh, with some delays but they have suspended their four and six layer uh, process as well as Inig immersion gold process until further notice. I have asked them to confirm a realistic uh, production time for a standard two layer PCB prototyping service and they said it should take uh, four to six days to manufacture that kind of order. But I would personally round that to seven days and I wouldn't expect anything uh, less uh, during this uh, period. It might happen sooner for your order to be put into production, but it's best to expect these uh, delays and take them into consideration before placing your order. They've also said production follows a first come first served basis with uh, the exception of uh, domestic orders connected with the coronavirus crisis uh, which get priority. For example, if there is some medical company that needs PCB to manufacture medical equipment, uh, those will get priority in the uh, production line and that's only normal and to be expected for them to uh, support their country to recover from this uh, crisis. Shipping companies have also resumed service uh, but they do recommend avoiding uh, standard registered mail because uh, it might have unpredictable delays. They instead recommend to use DHL Express or SF, uh, but myself, I wouldn't expect these services to run as uh, before either because uh, for sure th there is uh, a lot of backlog uh, to be processed until they get back to normal. All things considered, uh, you might be looking at a 10 to 14 days interval from the moment you place your PCB order until you receive it via some express shipping service like DHL Express. Unfortunately, this is the situation at the moment. They are going through some uh, difficult times and I honestly hope uh, this is going to get better soon because this has ramifications to all sectors and uh, we all are going to be affected more or less by, by this in, in some way or another. Since I'm only doing these personal hobby projects right now, it's not a big issue for me to have these uh, delays for PCB manufacturing, but I know there are people who uh, need these uh, PCBs for serious work and for them it might have a bigger impact on their activity. And if you're wondering if it's uh, safe to receive your PCBs uh, from China, yes, it's safe. I have already done a video on that subject explaining everything. The CDC, WHO, um, other organizations as well as individual doctors have commented on this situation and they all agree that there is no risk for you because the coronavirus cannot survive on surfaces um, as long uh, as it would need to reach you. If you are experiencing any problems with your PCB orders, JLC PCB asks that you contact them via email support at jlcpcb.com because their phone support won't be available for a while.
I hope this video brought you some useful info and updates on the situation. Let me know what you think in the comments below the video, especially let me know if you placed any PCB orders recently and how they uh, turned up. And don't forget to stay subscribed to learn more about my upcoming projects.